Hey everybody and welcome back to another Thursday Shuffle. I am your host, Mr. Beppers. That's right, we're back again with eight random packs of Magic the Gathering's history. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here. We did two polls last week. One asking you which set we should put into the standard slot and which set we should put or what pack we should put into the modern or older slot. Uh, the polls came back and Worldwake clearly took it out of the modern selection. Uh, it was like over 50% of the vote, I believe, was for this. However, when it came to the standard pack, there was a big divide. We had 33% for Throne of Eldraine and 33% for Strixhaven. Now, because we had just opened a Strixhaven pack previously, um, I figured I would add the Throne of Eldraine instead just to make sure that we're keeping it a little bit different and a little bit fresh. Um, so, that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell to get notified of every video that goes live here on the channel. There are at least four videos a week, sometimes more. It really depends on whether I get to filming more things or not, or what I'm excited about and all that kind of good stuff. So I would greatly appreciate it. And if you can't do that, thanks for just watching. I greatly appreciate you being here. Let's get right into it. What we're going to do is we're going to shuffle these packs up and then we're going to roll a D8 and we're going to pick two packs at random. So of course... You got to see all the packs we had there. We're just going to shuffle these up. So we do this in the in the aspect of two supplement packs, two standard packs, two pioneer packs, and two modern or older packs. And that's how we handle it. So we get our trusty dice tray here with our D8. And we're going to roll this D8 twice. We're going to do pack number six. And we're going to do pack number three. All right. So we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to go down one, two, three. Looks like we're going to do that Throne of Eldraine pack. We're going to get it right in there so that we can add Strixhaven again next week, right? See, that's how that works. So that World Wake pack still in here. Uh, of course, Ma Modern Horizons, waiting for Modern Horizons 2 is coming soon, right? New Phyrexia, lots of good stuff still in, in the, in the uh, packs available. Unhinged. I absolutely adore this set. Um, I I like all of the unhinged packs uh, or like the unsets. I specifically like this one because the the packaging is like paper. Like I don't I think the whole packaging is is paper, right? Uh, they put like a plastic liner in it, I guess, which makes sense. But like the outside of it feels like paper, which is which is really cool. I like that aesthetic. Um, let's open up this Throne of Eldraine pack first, right? The, the Unhinged pack's not gonna, like, have maybe any value in it, per se, but it's just gonna be fun to read and look at, because it's a great little set of, full of jokes. So, uh, let's just do a quick, ooh, we got a Lonesome Unicorn there, nice. A Witching Well, great little card from Throne of Eldraine. Um, we got a Malevolent Noble, Rosethorn Halberd. Oh, Foreboding Fruit, Nice. Scorching Dragonfire, still seeing play in standard right now. Rally for the Throne. Animating Fairy. Savvy Hunter. I have this in my food EDH deck. Oh, hey, there you go. That's 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 the one, right? This still still sees a lot of play in standard. In Mono Green Stompy, in Red Green Adventures, in basically any kind of deck that runs green. They generally run this card because it's a 5-5 five, five for 3 mana. And yeah, okay, it can only attack if you have a 1-1, one, one, but that's okay. There's lots of ways to make 1-1s. One, we got a forest and, of course, a food token. So there you go. Love Struck Beast, a great little hit there. All right, let's get into this one. See, like, it's even... It's definitely paper, but it's got, like, a foil lining on the inside. Just... just It just feels different. All right. We've got our first card here is a card pecker. It's got a gotcha statement here. It says, whenever an opponent touches the table with his or her hand, you may say gotcha. And if you do, return card pecker from your graveyard to your hand. And it's a one and a half and one. Good old one and a half. This was the set that added the half damages and half healths and half manas. Very ridiculous. We've got a carnivorous death parrot. Doesn't seem doesn't seem like a thing that you probably want to have as your as your companion. So we've got a flying at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice carnivorous death parrot, unless you say its flavor text. Save a kill spell to deal with this guy. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. The fallen apart. So we've got a four 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 here. 
and it's got you've got little cut lines here the fallen apart comes into play with two arms and two legs whenever damage is dealt to the fallen apart remove an arm or a leg from it uh, the fallen apart can't attack if it has no arms and can't block if it has wait if it has sorry can't attack if it has no legs and can't block if it has no arms so ridiculous so ridiculous uh, what is this? I can't even read this name. Punctuate? Punctuate, because it's covered by the art. Uh, punctuate deals damage to target creature equal to half the number of punctuation marks in that creature's text box. Oh, wow. So it covers it. Oh, geez. All right. Oh, here we go. Our market research shows that players like really long card names, so we made this card to have the absolute longest card name ever, Elemental. And it is a 2-2 two, two for 3. It says Art Rampage. It says whenever this becomes blocked by a creature, it gets plus 2 plus 2 for each creature in the blocker's art beyond the first. Just call it... Um, for short. Yeah, that's, that's much easier. We got Word Mail. Little 1 mana uh, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus 1 plus 1 for each word in its name. So there you go. That's the pair. That's the pair, right? That's that's what you're looking for. All right, we got double header. Flying 2-3 Drake for five. When it comes into play, you may return target permanent with a two-word name to its owner's hand. When fluffy bunnies attack... Uh-oh, watch out. A dragon is in bad shape. Look at all these bunnies. Target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of times the letter of your choice appears in that creature's name. There it is. Goblin SWAT team. Good old Goblin SWAT team. Got a big fly swatters. Good stuff. Say Goblin SWAT team. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on Goblin SWAT team unless an opponent swats the table within five seconds. Play this ability only once each turn. Ah, uh, good times. Snot. S-N-O-T. For one mana. As Snot comes into play, you may stick it into another creature named... You may... Yeah, you may stick it in, onto another creature named Snot. Uh, in play. If you do, all those creatures form a single creature. Snot's power and toughness are each equal to the number of snots stuck together. One is a 1-1, one, one, two are a 4-4, four, four, and three are a 9-9, nine, nine, four are a 16-16. Sixteen, sixteen. So there you go. First uncommon here, side to side. Good old side to side. You and target opponent arm wrestle. If you win, put a 3-3 green ape creature token into play. <laughs> All right. At Atony Atonlay Igpe. That's the one. Oh god, it's all written in Pig Latin. Ubble Day Ike Stray. Oh god. Oh, geez. And ever way. Atonlay Igpay's on Troller Cray or on Troller K. Ixpe. Aye. Aye. On nay. Igpay Atonlay. Ordway. Acrifice, acrifice, say, at and lay, igpe. What? Whenever, <laughs> whenever Latin pig, pig's controller speaks a non pig Latin word, sacrifice Latin pig. Dear me. Dear me, what a what a card! What a ridiculous card! Rocket powered turbo slug. There it is. See, it's right here at the bottom of the card. It's this little streak, and then it's here. See, so the the slug is actually here. We've got super haste. This creature may attack the turn before you play it. 
You may put this card. Okay, so this may this may attack the turn before you play it. You may put this card into play from your hand, tapped and attacking during the your declare attacker step. If you do, you lose the game at the end of your next turn unless you pay this card's mana cost during that turn. And then we got our land, good old land. There it is, gorgeous. And then our rare. Our rare is Curse of the Fire Penguin. Gorgeous mountain, right, of course. And Curse of the Fire Penguin is a one of these flip cards, right? So it enters as an enchant creature. Enchant, uh, curse of the Fire Penguin consumes and confuses enchanted creature. And then it, f it flips somehow. I don't know how this flips. Trample. When this creature is put into a graveyard from play, return Curse of the Fire Penguin from your graveyard. What? How does this... I don't know how you flip this card. Does it turn it turns it turns their creature into a six five with trample that says when this creature is put into a graveyard from play, return curse of the fire penguin to your uh, from your graveyard to play. Is that how this works? I don't know how that card works. Anyway, there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Thursday Shuffle. It was a little longer than normal because these cards are just so ridiculous. You kind of have to read them all. And sometimes it takes a while, like a Glay Patton Lay or whatever. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. As always, may your pulls ever be better.